whether you're in the office and you're working on something and a coworker stops by uh, to chat, or you get pulled into an impromptu meeting, or you're working nomadically on your laptop, uh, you're writing a paper and you get hit by an instant message, or your batteries start running low, or even mobile when you're trying to compose an email on your iPhone and you receive a uh, phone call or a text message that cuts you off. So, uh, with interruption everywhere, what is the role of interruption for us? Uh, conventionally, interruption has been viewed as disruptive because one, they break concentration, and two, they give rise to the feeling of loss con of control. Um, but inter uh, interruptions often express ambivalence towards interruption, depending on the context in which they are interrupted. Interruption often plays an important role in accomplishment of work because they prevent future wasted efforts uh, when they are interrupted with uh, a critical information or they enable the response to time critical issues when interrupted with a time critical issue. So, um, in addition to that, um, with the rise of social networking status, social networking status that are often used as an interruption management tool by many people. For example, um, in, um, a status that is at conference giving a talk or an office working on paper will become sort of a blocker for interrupting that people would see that context and know not to interrupt you. However, uh, a status such as a coffee shop in joining day will promote interruption because people know that you are free. So however, um, managing several um, social networking mediums could create a high volume of, of work for the user and is in itself an interruption. So visually, we can see that um, suppose a user wants to manage several of his common social networking practice he will, um, and he wants to update his status uh, telling people that he's giving a talk right now he will first need to tweet to Twitter, he will need to do a status update to Facebook, he will need to change his mood in Skype, and he will need to update his status in several other um, social networking media. And in turn, he needs to remember which mediums he has updated and um, creating a lot of stress on himself. So this gave rise to our paper um, and what we we'll study. In our paper, we, um, we built a sensor-based approach for determining the interruptibility to support mobile laptop users. We describe a software that will intelligently interrupt the user so that we remind them to report their context to the social networks. And we classify that as access to native sensor information and user interface widgets will make this approach very effective. So, um, um, a change in the previous visual aid, um, instead of our user managing several um, social network status uh, mediums, we have a software agent that uh, manages all this for them. And we, uh, we built this software agent so that they will remember or try to detect the context that the, uh, the user is working on and uh, determine whether or not a status update is required so to lighten the load on the user um, on the user to focus on other stuff. Um, in this study, we employed the um, we employed the use of the software Nomadic IM, which was developed by our lab in the previous work uh, with, Donald, uh, with Dr. Donald Patterson. And this tool is, as we described, um, a single point of entry for updating a user status across a wide array of IMs and um, web services. And uh, in our previous study, we found that this single strategy, uh, single point of entry strategy, was very effective for the user and was very helpful in assisting the user managing the social networking status uh, that we wish. However, though, uh, the effectiveness and how happy the user were with the software was uh, determined on how often they were able to update their status, on how often they were able to update their status. So uh, originally in our self, um, in Nomadic IM, uh, interruption was sort of approached by a series of hard-coded um, rules. Uh, here's an example of uh, one um, of the rules that has um, not worked very well in our previous study. Um, that this particular rule, uh, we approach it that we will suggest a status change when the local, a local IP changes. Uh, a reasoning for that was that a change in IP were, uh, equates to a change in connection, which means the user has physically moved to a different Wi-Fi signal area or has moved to a different location that uh, provided a different Wi-Fi signal. Uh, what really happened, um, and this is a true story about our user, was that she is in her office uh, where three different Wi-Fi signals were available for her to connect to, and her uh, computer's uh, wireless network card cycles through all three of this um, Wi-Fi without her knowing. Uh, however, uh, when Nomadic IM detects the change in Wi-Fi, it interrupted her, saying that, uh, asking if she's in a different place, while in reality she had never moved an inch from her desk. And that was um, a very big failure of this movie's part. So this um, story actually inspired
required us to conduct our study. Uh, in, our, in our study, in this particular study, uh, we leveraged the user's current text message, uh, i.e. Twitter or Facebook, as a virtual sensor in conjunction with existing physical sensors to determine when the status needs to be updated. Uh, we use a novel algorithm based on the callback neighbor divergence to detect changes in the context. And we study the response of the users to a variety of users' interfaces uh, that reduce the cost of the automatic interruption to the users. Uh, here are the conditions we studied. <coughs> uh, we uh, had two, sided, uh, two sides to the study. One was the um, context detection algorithm. Uh, rule based with PLD. I will go over each rule that we uh, implemented in just a little bit. And also we have uh, another slide which is uh, interruption UI, and which I will also go over um, in just a moment. So uh, when we first approached this question, um, we found that uh, interruption varies, <coughs> uh, the severity of the interruption varies in the cost of the user. However, cost is very subjective and it's very hard to model. So uh, what we did was we chose not to model this cost, but instead we searched for a UI document <coughs> that allows uh, a easy reassessment of the user. Uh, for the cost of all, of all our interruptions. And uh, for that, we decided we want a UI that could get the user's attention, uh, but it's easy to ignore if the user chooses to. <coughs> so uh, I will first talk about our context detection methods, which uh, is illustrated in here, is our software agent's brain that uh, determines whether or not the status needs to be changed. Uh, and I mentioned before, we'll first go over RIF and versus uh, the KLD, which is the sensor based. Uh, approach. So our first rule is startup time. Um, if, a status, if our status is not updated within three minutes after the user starts up the nomadic IM software, we will interrupt them uh, for status change. Next is our stale time, which means if the user has not addressed their contact other status with, uh, after three hours, we will interrupt the user for status change. Next we have the Wi-Fi and uh, MAC address change. Uh, which is um, was not the best rule as we mentioned before. If the user's connected Wi-Fi Mac has changed, uh, we believe that they have to um, move or change their status. Uh, a local IP change, the local IP of the computer and uh, wireless network card has changed uh, and will uh, interrupt the user. And uh, finally, when their remote IP has changed, we will also interrupt the user for a status change. And uh, here we have um, the callback network, which is our sensor-based approach. And the way we approach this problem was uh, this, this algorithm was that the user build up a data set of sensor readings during their usage, and we pair that with the current um, status state. So we have a historical, um, historic sensor distribution condi conditioned on current status, uh, and that is available. And then we also take a current um, sensor distribution conditioned with on the current status and select in the background. When these two distributions diverges, the system will prompt the user to update their status. And below we have the callback Libra divergence equation that we used to calculate this divergence. So here is a, um, a visual representation of what we did. Um, right here we have the, um, in the beginning and the user is at home. They set their status as at home and we took a um, sensor reading of the available Wi-Fi uh, uh, wi MAC addresses around them. And here's our distribution of the Wi-Fi MAC addresses. As time progresses, the user goes out and goes to a coffee shop, uh, at which point we take another sensor reading, and we have noticed that their Wi-Fi MAC address distribution has changed and have diverged from their original historic um, sensor reading. So here we, we invoke an interruption to the user, asking them to change their status. Uh, the user will notice the interruption and take some time to react to it uh, and update their status at start, in which we take this particular um, distribution as the historic and we, uh, and we should be set. We wait a period of time before we take another